Hey guys, Em here and I'm previewing some diamond paintings coming to the Muna Made shop soon from a brand new artist. I'm joined here today with my son. He's right next to me. So if you hear some really weird noises, it might be him. Do you have anything to say, sir? Anything at all? Eh. Okay, that's what he had to say. He said, eh. <laughs> You for your contribution it's really hard to get anything done when he's just like sitting here next to me smiling drooling yeah <laughs> um, but thank you guys for joining me here today um, as always I love to show off new diamond paintings to y'all as a little bit of a preview so you can see what they look like and I can explain all the details to you and uh, yeah, these will be in the Munimade store very soon. I will be posting um, in some secret places in this video when the first drop will be. So be on the lookout for that during the video. Um, and as always, I, I post a limited amount for the first run um, for many reasons that I've talked about before, but I post a limited amount for the first run, but all of our artwork is consistently restocked. Unless it's just something that stops selling, then we might look at removing that from the lineup. But I bring to you today two art pieces from a new artist joining the Munimade team named Kikawa. Kikawa is Italian and she specializes in these very unique, just gorgeous detailed portraits. She likes to play a lot with lighting and shading and I am just enamored by her art style. It is just gorgeous. Um, so go and check her out on Instagram, at Kikowa. I also love her name. And also, I must say, she's very productive. She's always putting out new and exciting art pieces. So if you guys like this artist, let me know, and I'd be more than happy to license more art from her in the future. So to start things off, I'll give you guys some general information about Muna Made diamond painting kits. If you are just brand new to the Muna fam around here, um, we make high quality diamond painting kits. These two I have here are just like floor models. I always keep one of every painting as a floor model example. Um, it's just something I do. So um, yeah, but we do high quality diamond painting kits. They are printed on thick, soft backed canvases with scalloped edges. Of course, we use poured glue, not double sided adhesive. So even though you can see on the plastic, there's kind of rivers on it. That's from the way it's shipped and all rolled up. Um, that is not going to be a problem when you start to work on your canvas and they will lay flat very easily and you shouldn't have any issues. Okay. So we have on either side, a color list with the corresponding symbols and DMC colors. And at the top is our logo, of course. Down here we have some general information like the title of the image, the artist, and the size. And then on the other hand, always in case you forget where you can purchase these or find other things at munimade.com and then where you can support the artist. I love to include that because as you're working on this art, you might fall in love with it and you want to follow more things from the artist. And also if you're working on this and you're sharing pictures on social media, please, 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 please tag the artist. They would love to see your work and see you um, spending time enjoying their artwork. That makes them incredibly happy. So don't forget to tag them and show off your beautiful work. So, Unimade Diamond Paintings are getting a little bit of an update to our sticker sheet. Each one includes a sticker sheet um, with your stickers to kit up with, but we have an update. I'm so excited about this. It's something so small and maybe to you guys, it doesn't matter that much, but to me, I love this update. I'm very excited about it. Um, so this is what the new sticker sheet looks like. It includes a picture, the title, the artist, bless you, sir. Um, a place where you can put your start date and completed date. You can cut this out, put it in your diamond painting log books. Some other information like the shape of the drills on the canvas, the diamond amount that is new. I'm going to go through and add this information to all my listings on the website as well. But some people like to know this statistic just to know how many drills have they placed on the image and then the skew number of the specific image. So today I'm showing you guys 
image numbers. We're doing 22 and 23 today. So this is the 22nd and 23rd image to join the Muna Made shop. Um, you have pre-cut labels here for you to label your storage containers. If you're using a little bit smaller of storage containers or you would like to just kit up and just directly put the symbols on the baggies, our kits come in baggies, then we have a second column where you can just put that symbol on the bags. So I think that's pretty snazzy. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Um, there's options with every Muna Made kit to get a basic toolkit or you can upgrade to a premium toolkit. And I'll talk more about that later when I show um, what trays go with each of these artworks, but the premium toolkit just comes with like a bunch of extra goodies. Um, also, you have the option with each diamond painting to order a Muna Made dust cover bag, and you can also order these separately if you just really like these bags and you would like more. I think that's everything. I'm always like kicking myself that I forgot to say something, but it's okay. You guys know the drill. You are here to see the beautiful artwork. So I would like to introduce you guys to Usagi. This is a gorgeous portrait of a woman. The lighting is like so cool. I love the play on colors behind the background. The colors in her hair are so fun. Like, look at this original artwork. It's so, I don't know. I can't even explain it. It's just so beautiful. There's like blues and oranges in her hair. It's just kind of a play on lighting. And I just am enamored by this image. Um, I'm also proud to say it's my first person of color artwork that I'm including in the shop. Yeah, okay, get excited. I'm excited too, buddy. Maybe you're working on a little something in your pants. I don't know. We might have to pause the video and remedy that. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited about that. This is something I've been really like wanting and desiring to add to my collection for a long time. And I, I really want to add more. I think that it's so important to have a variety of representation in artwork because it's just so meaningful when you can identify with artwork and feel like you relate to the person that you see pictured. And um, I don't know, I just think it's really important to have that. This is Usagi, wonderful, beautiful artwork. It is just a portrait and in its simplicity and intricacies, I just think it is so stunning. We hand render our images and so there's lots of like chunks of color blocking in here. We try to minimize the confetti but keep enough of it so that details come through. So it is a, it's a, um, you know, it's a, it's a difficult task that my designer does and I think they do a fantabulous job. So there, just to give you an up close image. This one is round drills and it has 57 colors. That's another new thing on the sticker sheets. The AB, or if we do include other specialty drills, are now gonna be highlighted. So easily when you're looking, yeah! He's just like so excited about all these new things. Uh, so when you're looking at your toolkits, buddy, <laughs> when you're looking at your toolkits, you can easily see, <sighs> What? What, honey? What? You can easily see the um, the ones that are specialty drills. That's what I'm trying to get out. I'm just trying to get out what I'm trying to say. What is it? Oh my goodness, you have drooled all over yourself. What happened? There's 31,000 drills in this image. Woohoo! And it is 50 by 50 centimeters, which is awesome a good like mid-size-ish diamond painting um so there you go usagi by kikawa hopefully you guys like this one i'm excited i will note her eyebrows look pretty green in the charting but don't worry i have checked the color and it is definitely brown so the actual color of the drills is brown um so that's something that i noticed as well if you're noticing that looking at this and we i checked so here's the colors so many fun ones. I love this teal. I love these pinks, oranges. Fantastic. I dropped it. We have four AB colors included. I'll give you guys a quick rundown of where those AB colors are located. So the first one, the silvery AB colors, 
Those are gonna be in the earrings to highlight her jewelry, which I think is cool. It makes sense, makes sense. The second one is a red AV color. And that is going to be uh, a little bit highlighting some parts of her hair just to make it pop. Um, that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just in these like cool red parts in her hair. Then we've got this one, which is a kind of teal turquoise. I don't know the difference between teal and turquoise. You would think I would after all this time, but um, it's a nice blue color is what I'm trying to say. This one is located in her jacket. I'm seeing we got like a, in a little bit in the outline, just causing like a more twinkly, effect. The thing is, is sometimes we have a hard time matching colors to, oh, in her hair also, to AB drills because there's only like a limited amount of AB colors than there are colors of the normal drills, if that makes sense. So we have to kind of figure out where can we put these. And then this is interesting and I really want to know how this is going to look. In the original art, her eyes are coming off more of a blue hue instead of white, just because of the, the coloring and the lighting and the nature of the artwork. Um, so we did the eyes in this blue AB color, and I really wanna know how that's gonna look. Has the potential to look really cool or really weird? I would love for someone to work on it and let me know. Is it cool or is it weird? I don't know. Um, but yeah, those go in her eyes, in the whites of her eyes. Okay, the tray that I've paired with this, if you decide to upgrade to the premium toolkit, is a large Secura pink tray to bring out those pinks in the image. And if you do get a dust cover bag, it's going to come with a large green one. I believe, let me see, let me double check before I just say stuff. Yeah, it's gonna come with a large green one. And uh, yeah, that's that's what you can get. This, If you don't like the green, that's cool too. You can also just purchase separately in the shop a purple one and it's just gonna be a little longer. Um, but I think it's like 50 cents cheaper to just add on a dust cover bag with at the time of purchase. You get a little like discount for doing that at the time of purchase. So that is what the dust cover bag looks like if you decide to order with this one. Okay, so that is Usagi by Kikawa. Okay, I'm just gonna move that off to the side and we're gonna take a look at this beautiful one. Um, sorry, my floor model canvas is a little, is a little crinkled, <laughs> my bad. Um, but this is my canvas, so never you worry. This, my friends, is Albino Mermaid, also by Kikawa. This is what the original art looks like. It is very light, pastel, dreamy. It features a very pale mermaid with bright white hair in a bathtub of flowers and petals. The colors on this, just wait till I show you guys the drills. The colors on this are absolutely dreamy, dreamy. There are 46 colors. This is a square drill canvas in the size 60 by 60 centimeters. Um, and there are four ABs. That's kind of standard. We like to add four ABs or sometimes we play with like some other specialty drills, but for the most part, that's kind of our, our default. And it comes with those double stickers and everything. So this is Albino Mermaid. Oh my gosh, she's stunning. And you look at this image, it's pretty, but wait till I show you the drills and how much this is going to come to life when you start putting down these colors. Look how bright and fun and happy and amazing these colors are. They're just like all the best colors, pinks and purples and pastel yellows and just, it's so amazing. I love it. And because this one had some perfect matches for some AB colors, we got two big old bags of ABs plus some two other colors that come with this kit. So pretty. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. All right. So let's see where those AB drills go, um, just to kind of check it out. She's so pretty. So the first one is going to be this one. It's a little bit of a darker purpley pink. This one's gonna be found sort of in the sides here in the bathtub. So I see a bunch here. I see a bunch on this side in the side of the bathtub. Um, some in the flowers as well, like in the petals. 
So, yeah, and there's a lot of them. I just see them like in sort of the water even. I think this part is gonna be some water. So it's just kind of like a, like a in-between filler. There's a lot in between here. Man, that's really gonna pop. This petal on her chest is gonna be in that AB color. I already lost it. Where is that full bag of ABs? I literally, oh, it's right in front of me. That's cool. That's cool. What do you think about that, baby? <laughs> what do you think? My son's three months old, by the way. Hi, hi. I don't show him, but you know, you can hear him. <laughs> Uh, the second AB is this yellow one. I bet you can guess where this goes. It goes in the uh, in the yellow parts of all these flowers. They're more like centers of flowers. So that's where that one goes. Bear with me. Like ten, five, ten more minutes, buddy. Five, ten more minutes. You can do it. Yeah, <laughs> he smiled at me. Oh my goodness. Um, and then this pink. Okay, this pink is going to be in a bunch of flowers here. Yeah, me too. And yeah, it's just gonna be in a bunch of flowers, making these flowers in front very sparkly and beautiful. And then last but not least, we have our classic white AB. The white ABs are going to be in these white parts of, you know, showing the water on the edges and on the outside. And a little bit here, here on her shoulder. Just showing like the, the water droplet. With this canvas, I have paired a large pastel yellow tray. I try to include a tray that doesn't, doesn't go with the main color. The reason is, is cause you're gonna have a lot of drills in that color and you won't be able to see them well in the tray, but something that like supplements, that pops and a, a um, you know, a secondary color, if you will. And I felt like this pastel yellow goes pretty with the centers of the flowers and the rest of the colors. And then this one, if you order an add-on bag, you are going to get the extra large purple bag with it. Sir, I'm gonna have to hold him and finish this. Like this is just mom life. I don't know what to tell you guys. This is my life. This is my life. I'm trying to work and I'm trying to have a little baby. And it's just, it's a lot sometimes. So, um, yeah. And he has spit up like all over himself. So that's probably why he's crying. Super fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Baby, 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 baby. Okay. So I think that's all I have to say today for you guys. Hopefully you guys are excited about this new artwork from Kiko Wa, uh, let her know if you interact with her on social media, how excited you are for her work and be sure to give her a follow. These will be released at this time. I haven't said that yet in this video. I'm sorry, I've got a lot of distraction. Um, but these will be released at this time, limited first run, but don't worry, they'll continue to be restocked. If ever you go to my website and there's a diamond painting out of stock that you really want, just sign up for the back in stock email alert and you will get an email whenever more inventory arrives so don't you worry my friends thanks guys for watching thank you so much to my members i appreciate you i'm going to start being a little bit more active on my youtube channel um so thank you for sticking with me through my pregnancy and birth and all this craziness taking care of this little guy um you guys are amazing and i love you i love all of you i hope you have a great day and i'll talk to you soon and yeah i will I will wave bye with a little baby hand. Bye bye. Bye bye. No, open it. Okay, anyways, bye bye guys. I gotta go change him. Bye. <laughs>